How we doing boys and girls? Matthews here, welcome back to another video. So if you were like me and you were watching BlizzCon over the weekend, you are now well aware of the fact there's a new expansion that's been announced, and with that came the option to pre-purchase said new expansion. Now, any of you that may have done that will actually now have access to a, an, what they are calling an enhanced level 70 character boost. How can we as goblins use this level 70 character boost to our advantage? I was testing this out on stream today. I leveled a dude. Uh, I was trying to find out what I could do with him, and it clicked. It clicked. There's a new opportunity with skinning coming in patch 10.2, and I wanted to talk about it for a few minutes here today. Um, for those who are interested, this new enhanced level 70 character boost comes with any of the variations of the pre-purchase of the War Within, the base, the heroic, or the epic edition. You can get this enhanced level 70, um, and you can put it to work straight away i leveled of course a hunter because i'm a noob uh but it comes with a full set of 424 gear more than adequate to get you going more than adequate to get you into the uh emerald dream and start pew pewing and making some gold um, I very quickly picked up skinning. If you're in Valdrak and the skinning trainer is just down to in the uh, in the in the crafting quarter, the artisans market, pick up skinning, and we are going to be specking this dude in a way that's going to allow us to get our hands on as many of these things as possible: the dreaming antler fragments. Now, this is a new thing coming in patch 10.2. Uh, these are going to be a crucial component for people looking to craft the Dream Tender's Charm and the Verdant Conduit embellishments. These are two new embellishments in the new patch, uh, and they are likely to be big business. Embellishments are always being swapped around and changed. They've kind of, you know, nerfed the old ones a little bit to make these new ones look a bit fancy. Uh, there's a very, very good chance that people want to get their hands on these, and my my suspicion is that these Dreaming Antler Fragments will be quite expensive for a short period of time. Uh, the way that skinners get access to these is on a daily cooldown uh, basis. Or should I say a daily skinning opportunity? You can, when you enter the new zone with your skinner, you can go and use your elusive creature bait and you can bait out this dude, the elusive Verdant Glade Warden. Uh, he can be spawned on the sort of the eastern coast. There's just one spot being shown here, but in a few places on the eastern coast of the Emerald Dream, you can spawn this dude up. Kill him, skin him, and keep your fingers crossed for your dreaming antler fragment. Now, this can only be done daily, and it's not even a 100% guaranteed drop chance. So the likelihood is, is that, uh, let's say, well, we'll find out what the drop chance is, but it means you are going to be incentivized to do this each and every day. And there are some people out there that have already set up a few skinners to give themselves as many opportunities at these each and every day. So the character boost, the character boost is going to allow us to get maybe our only or maybe an additional skinner onto our roster. And I wanted to talk about exactly how you can do it with this fresh level 70. So, I did a little bit of planning. Uh, by planning, I mean we tested this on stream, so I'll probably be overlaying some footage of this on the stream. Um, but it's actually quite quick and easy to do. 20 minutes, if you know what you're doing and know where you're going, it's really not too hard at all. You want to pick up skinning. Skinning is your first thing you're going to need. I mentioned that a minute ago. Pick up skinning. And then you're going to want to level it to 25. You don't need to get it too far. All you need to do is unlock the profession, the, the, the specializations. That's really all we're looking to do here. I ended up getting mine a little bit further, but that's because I kind of got distracted. You only actually need to get to level 25 with your skinning, and that's most easily done over in Anaran Plains. There's a little section in Anaran Plains where you can kill what they call the ravenous rock fangs up near Timber Step Outpost. These guys hyperspawn. It's quite a popular skinning spot. There's nearly always one of these ravenous rock fangs up uh, and in your new fresh 424 geared character you should be able to pew pew these fellas down nice and quickly um get yourself to skinning 25 that's the first thing from here you want to travel yourself north and you want to head up into the waking shores and you want to go speak to the uh the skinning master he sits on a little rock 
on the eastern uh, point of the map. Uh, the coordinates for this is 7369. Just purely by talking to this guy, he gives you 10 skin, 10 knowledge points, which will also give you 50 artisan's metal. We're going to be saving some of this artisan's metal for in a minute, so don't go spending it on anything in the meantime. Uh, as we're in the Waking Shores, the next thing, the, the next smart thing to do is jump down to the Ruby Life Pools. At the Ruby Life Pools, uh, there is a NPC by the name of Hef Hephista. Uh, this is the NPC that starts some crafting quests. And those crafting quests, if you've never done them before, is a very short little quest chain, uh, which the process of that is going to give you three Dragon Shards of Knowledge. If you'd already done this on another character way earlier in the expansion, you should see a big red piece of text that allows you to skip this. There's absolutely no harm in taking the skip. It will give you the three dragon shards of knowledge that we're after, and it will give you them straight away. Uh, from there, you want to travel down to Fork River Crossing. This is in the Anaran Plains. This is to the southern part of the Anaran Plains. We're going here because we want to pick up a couple of quests. We want to complete Miguel's quest primarily, and you can also, whilst you're here, pick up Asli's quest. The uh, Miguel's quest and Asli quests will give you a combined, dra a single dragon shard. And the reason we do Asli's quests is because it does give us an extra 25 artisans metal nice and quickly. Um, these are for completing the targeted ads and the customer satisfaction quests. By this point, you should have yourself four Dragon Shards of Knowledge in your bags, and this is where we need to convert these. So, to convert these, you want to head to the Bloodhoof Outpost, uh, or just slightly north to that, to be fair, uh, the, into the cave. This is the cave to where you can exchange your Dragon Shards of Knowledge into Artisan's Metal and into Knowledge Points. If you do this, you'll get an extra 200, knowledge po uh, 200 Artisan's Metal, and you'll get four additional Knowledge Points. Uh, the last step, uh, the last part on our travels is to zoom zoom ourselves down into the Zaralek Cavern. If you go into Loam and you speak to the Quartermaster in Loam, you will be able to pick up for the cheap, cheap price of 300 Dragon Isle Supplies, uh, the Knowledge Book. This is a Knowledge Book that's going to give you 10 extra skinning Knowledge Points and along with that, yet another 50 Artisans Metal. So as a quick total, from this point you should have yourself 24 knowledge points already and you should also have 325 artisans metal in your bags. With that done, you can head back to Valdraken. You now technically have everything you need to get the remaining knowledge points. If you come to Rabul in Valdraken, you can speak to this guy and he'll actually sell you some skinning books. Um, for the grand total of 250 uh, artisan's metal actually less than this because you do get refunded some artisan's metal in the first place um, but you can buy the first two skinning books and each one of these skinning books is going to give you another 15 knowledge points uh, so th those of you out there that are good at maths will realize that now you have a grand total of 54 skinning points a little bit over what we actually need but 50 is the the baseline that we need to get this up and running i trade it all where do we spend those 50 points? Those 50 points are spent in the bait crafter tree. We need 10 points in bait crafter and we need 40 points in mastery. That will get you up and running and ready to be able, the, well, the big ticket here is this node. Um, your skill at using bait has reached its peak. Your elusive creature bait can now draw in rare creatures at specific locations who can be skinned for a chance at their best rewards. You are now pretty much set up to go out and do this little farm over in the Emerald Dream daily on this character. There are some things you might want to do as optional extras here. You might want to pick up some slightly better tools. Um, if you had done the Asli quest, you will have yourself a basic skinning knife, but nothing special. Uh, you might want to pick up the reinforced pack or the expert skinners pack or upgrade that skinning knife to a Kazgarite skinning knife, but this is entirely optional. Um, I have lots of alts that can make all this stuff for me. These rare tools are going to take a lot more artisan's metal. I was happy to use my alts artisan's metal to make these. These, these are entirely optional. Um, you can get away without any of these realistically. But of course, the way the professions work, the more secondary stats you can stack, the better. But that, boys and girls, is the way that I have chosen to use this little character boost. This will give me one additional skinner. I already had one skinner set up, my main skinner. 
I'd already got him set up and so hopefully now going into patch 10.2 a few times a day I can summon and skin this rare creature and hopefully uh, get some of these uh, dreaming antler fragments, throw them up on the auction house and make a bit of gold. So I'll leave it there for today boys and girls. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you're new around here and uh, I will see you in patch 10.2 in a bit. Peace.